Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'm sharing a card design that I used to create two different baby cards. I'm using this stamp set called In the City and this is a hostess set that's releasing in the 2017 annual Stampin' Up! catalog. One of the cards is going to be girl theme and the other is boy theme. I am using the stitched framelits dies to make four different concentric circles of varying color tones. I'm starting out with a base color on the girl card of pink pirouette and on the boy card of soft sky. All of the materials that I use to make both cards are listed in the video description. Also in the video description are links for you to purchase supplies if you desire. All of the cardstock was cut off camera in order to save time on the video. I also have made a sentiment and heat embossed it with silver embossing powder. Both stamps are from the same stamp set. To adhere the circles, I had the largest in the framelits, in the circle framelits, and I used snail adhesive to adhere the two largest ones, and then I raised up the center square with a dimensional and adhered a layer of vellum on top. I hid the adhesive for the vellum behind the sentiment as vellum will show all adhesive step through the front. I'm using the lines on my grid paper to line up exactly where I need to put the center of the card. Placing the circle unit at the center of the card is very important on a clean and simple card. Any little mistake will show up unless we're able to hide it with a creative design element. To do the stamping around the circle, I'm using the image of a stork holding a bundle in his mouth. And I'm using a balanced hand to try and get my eye and my hand to coordinate an even distance in between the stamping. However, try as I may, my eye and my hand will still leave gaps in between the stamping that are not exactly even. To compensate for this, I know I'm going to have to use some die cuts to place in between the gaps, and that way the eye is not going to rest on the gaps in my stamping. I might say that this is a flaw on my part of craftsmanship, but I know it's very hard to get an even spacing on every single circle that goes around. So having some type of safety plan in place, such as putting in the die cuts, is a nice way to be able to know you will still be able to get success in your card making project. Liquid glue works really nicely to adhere the back of the die cut down to the paper. When I'm working with glitter paper, I find that liquid glue does not work very well if it, it's adhered to the front of the glitter panel. Placing the die cuts at opposite sides of the circle are going to lend a balanced look to the card in the overall project. Both of the card bases are made from early espresso cardstock as dark brown works nicely with both pinks and blues. For the inside of the card, I am putting a single line of the same stamp that's featured on the front. I considered also bringing the words in underneath them, the storks. However, I felt it would be nice just to have the storks appear to be going across the inside of the card. Thank you all for joining me for another card making tutorial. 
I believe that this project is more about the design and so that's why I made sure that I did all the die cutting and stamping of the sentiment off camera. For more card making inspiration, I invite you to join me at my blog at JennyStampsUp.com. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.